am Alec. Today, I'm going to read you a story, Pinkalicious Fairy House. Are you ready? Yeah. Ooh, I love this fairy house. I just want to get it one day. Pinkalicious Fairy House. It was spring. My favorite season. I love how the sky looks like cotton candy at sunset. Aw, beautiful, beautiful. Every spring, our garden com uh, comes alive with blossoms of every color. I know why our gar garden is so beautiful. It's because of the fairies. Fairies came of our yard and sprinkled fairy dust to make the plants grow. I have never seen that, but I know that they are real. I can see sparkles outside my window. Mm, smooth the seeds that it just poured. It's, it's all covered in flower garden now. This spring, I had a plan. I would see the fairies. Pinkalicious, what are you doing? Asked Peter as I collected twigs and leaves. I'm making a house for the fairies to live in. Then they can live in our garden and we were able to see them. I said, Oh, she has a wonderful plan, but fairies aren't real. I want to see them too. Let me help, said Peter. He brought out his shell collection. Let's build a house here in the garden. I said, fairies, fairies are sure to come this way. And piece by piece, we build a little house. I love buttercups around, around the door. Peter made a pathway with his shells. Ooh, yeah. Soon we had a cozy home for the fairies. I couldn't wait for them to come. Every day I watched the house from my swing. Well, so great. I love this house, the garden that I have, that I just know. When I do, I just watch them. I made a pond, a boat, and even a slide for the fairies to 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 find, but the fairies did not come. Maybe there's not really the fairies. When Peter saw how sad I looked, he said, cheer up, the pink flower, flower buds are blooming, but I wanted to see the fairies. Suddenly, I had an idea. Maybe the fairies only came out at night, I said. Maybe they, they only sprinkle fairy dust by moonlight. I told Mommy and Daddy what I wanted to do. They let Peter and me camp, camp out and keep watching for the fairies. Wow, it will be so much fun. That evening, Peter and I spread out our sleeping bags. I left the fairies a sweet snack of honey a honeysuckle and fairies. Do you think they will come? asked Peter. Yes, I said, and added in a whisper, I really, really hope so. She loved a snack, a honey tea, and some kind of honey tea, or kind of berries. We told each other, other, 
We told each other stories until Peter fell asleep. As the night got darker, I hear crickets and owls, but not a single fairy. Once I thought I heard some soft, gentle humming. It was just Peter who was snoring. I did everything I could. Um, do stay awake. I looked up at the moon. I count the stars. I didn't want to miss the fairies. Oh, but as I counted the stars, my eyes like oh, got heavy. I couldn't help it. I drift off to sleep. Good morning. The next thing I knew, I heard about birds singing. I opened my eyes. It was done. It was done. I heard harsh voices in the garden. Mommy and Daddy were looking at something together. How beautiful, they said. And I searched. A sweet smell filled the air all around me. Colorful flowers were in full bloom. I looked at the fairy house. The honeysuckle and berries were gone. The fairies came, I cried. They came, but I missed the whole thing. Peter started to sniffle. Don't cry. Look, I said. Up in the air, I couldn't see glimmers of light shooting across the early morning sky. Fairies, I gasped. The light shimmered brighter and brighter until it sparkled into the sunshine. I knew you were real, I said. My family and I watched the sun come up. Thank you, fairies, I whispered. Whatever they were, I knew they could hear me.